Hello, my name is Ava Foster. I am the Digital Content Coordinator for Quick. Um, today, I am going to save the day. Um, as we know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner and with all the craziness that uh, the holidays bring, it can be a pretty stressful time. But I am hoping that with this video, I can make your life just a little bit easier. Now, this is part one um, of a two-part series. And if you tag along for the next video, I also have a special announcement. So as you can see, I have a few drafts down here. Um, those are just things I've made before when I was playing around with Canva. And I've also already filmed this video once and I forgot to record my screen. So here we are again, hopefully this works. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is just type in Valentine's Day or Valentine's. And I guess I should probably explain this first little gift idea. Basically, the idea is to make a graphic for your significant other, your friends, your family, honestly, whoever you would like to give a little Valentine's Day gift to. It doesn't just have to be your significant other. So, I will actually be using this in my own life to give to my boyfriend. Um, I'm not going to say his name or show any pictures because I don't know if he's cool with that. Um, so you're not going to get a boyfriend reveal just yet. Unfortunately, sorry. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go with this one. And I usually use pre-made templates, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, it just kind of helps me draft a idea of what I would like to do. So, and then what I do from there is I actually will change things around and make it my own. So as you can see here, we're starting with this blank template, or I guess it's not blank, there's a picture in it, but we're gonna change that picture. So the best way to do that is to upload a photo into um, Canva, I almost said quick, into Canva. And I'm just gonna pick a picture this time of my dog. <laughs> So here we go. I have my dog in the frame. Obviously, I mean, you could make a Valentine's Day card for your pet. Um, I don't know how much they would be able to appreciate that. But obviously here would be a place where you can put a picture of whoever you're sending this card to. Um, and then you can also print out this card. If you have a photo printer, you can also just print it on a plain sheet of paper. Or you can bring it to somewhere like CVS or Walgreens, any convenience store, and they can print it out printed out for you on like nice photograph paper. So I have this, if I wanted to, I can come and change the background to red. That's a little bit crazy. Um, so I think I'm just gonna stick to maybe a cream color or a white. Actually, I think I'm going to do it in pink and I'm going to change the hearts to red. And this process is all about just messing around with the colors and just finding something that you like. So as I said, I'm going to come back here and change the background to pink. Um, another thing you can do, obviously you can delete things if you don't like them. Um, personally, I'm kind of cool with everything that's on here. No hate towards it, I'm liking it. Another cool thing I wanted to show you too is with the photo. So you can actually flip the photo horizontally, you can flip it vertically, just to make it fit best um, with whatever project you're making. You can also crop the photo down. So. If I wanted to change this around, I could do something like that. And then I can also insert text. So I actually might get rid of this or maybe move it around. I think what I'm gonna do is just move these out of the way or just delete them. And instead, I'm going to put in some text. Now let's see. So I actually like this, as you can see, it's too big. So I'm just going to drag it over here and delete that last bit because I don't like the font. And since it already says Happy Valentine's Day, I am good to go. And you can always make this a little bit bigger 
there we are. Now this would be my completed card. Another thing you could do is, like I said, you can either give this to them in person or you could send them a text or an email so they can open it up and have a digital Valentine's Day card. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration for something you could do for Valentine's Day. Um, and, and like I said, in my next video, I'm going to be going over another idea that can kind of piggyback off of this one. So if you're interested or want more ideas, make sure to go ahead and pop over to part two. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a great day and happy creating.